Lynchburg Falls, 17 to 13 against Christopher Newport. I'm Christian Taylor with head coach Steve Kudelka after this one. Coach, um, it seemed like this team was getting really, really close there at the end, but ultimately falls short. Um, tell me your thoughts from today. Yeah, I mean, I was I was proud of the guys, obviously, for for getting it back to 15, 13, but um, you know, just as equally as disappointed to be down 10 to three at halftime. Um, you can't dig yourself a hole that big and. You know, uh, I thought Christopher Newport did a great job of, of kind of countering some things that we were trying to do, and uh, hats off to them. I thought they played a really good game, and uh, yeah, 15-13, we have a shot. You know, I think we go off sides there, and the game kind of swings there a little bit. So um, we, we got to do a better job initially in the first half, I think, and that's a better game, but, uh, but, but credit to Christopher Newport. They're a really good team. Now, I think Tyler Hadley is maybe one of the unsung heroes of this entire weekend. Came in yesterday, helped pick up the victory, but today it seemed like after Rocky start, he kind of – got things together and had a very nice game. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we're, we're you know, we like our team. We love our team, you know, and uh, we got some great guys. And it was evident this weekend that, you know, just when you play back-to-back, -back, you're going to have to have guys step up that are in the next role, whether it's maybe because someone's not playing to their ability or because maybe an injury or something like that. So, yeah, hats off to Tyler. I thought he had a great weekend. Um, you know, he gave us a huge spark yesterday, and he settled in today. You know, it's his first start he's ever had in college, and that's different. Um, I thought he handled it really well against a great team, and uh, I was really proud of him, and, and we'll see how he does moving forward. What else did you learn about your team this weekend? You know, I mean, I think we're, we're right there. You know, I think, um, you know, two weeks ago we, we lose to Salisbury uh, – with a very similar stat line going into halftime, and we don't we don't answer the bell at all at, at halftime against them. And yesterday we're down three, we answered the bell, and we end up winning that game. You know, today we're down seven or eight, whatever it was, and we answered the bell and got it to two with five minutes to go, which is what we, you know, we would have told me at you know when we were down ten to three, we'd be down to two with five minutes left. I would have signed off on that in a heartbeat. So I, I think we learned the resolve of this group. I mean, I think now we got to learn the initial. The initial phase of that, it, you know, University of Lynchburg lacrosse players have always, you know, always been tough, you know, hard-minded guys, and uh, we've always come back. I mean, that, that, that's 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 the given, right? Now we got we got to get better at at being in the lead. We, you know, can that be? Can we be up ten to three? You know, I don't know, you know, but like we got to have that mentality, and we got to work to that. And we're not quite there yet, but it's March nineteenth, and uh, these are the games that are pro uh, allow us that opportunity to learn. And get better, and, our, and our, our group of young men will 100% will bounce back. And uh, you know, we believe in them. And uh, you know, we got we got a great tough team coming in Tuesday night. So uh, you know, we'll be we'll be excited for that one. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Coach Kudelka, I'm Christian Taylor, and go MustangSports.com.